Hello, hello. Uh, hello, uh, guys. This is uh, Maya, a uh, former Discord server admin for uh, Rocky Raccoons. Weird server that I do not want to get into. That Rocky decided to defend some allegations. Stuff on, yeah, I even made a whole video about it. So, what questions would you like would you like to ask me today? Okay, so the first one I got, what was it like working under Rocky himself? Well, Rocky, he was he was uh, very t childish. He, whenever you know, I was you know banning someone bad from the server or something, he would he would kind of throw a hissy fit, and you'll see that in some of my screenshots when you go back and look at my old Twitter thing. All right. He just. He just got mad. He's very dismissive. Like, I'd have to tell him, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. He's like, okay, and still does it anyway. Oh. So very childish, dismissive, and yeah. And my uh, second question is, what was going on? What, we, what goes down in that Discord server? Well, for the first, like, for the first, I would say nine months everything was going well rocky he was only really on call he didn't actually do anything for his own server me and the mod team was handling that the ones i trained and so the the only the only way um people could get in was was i set out this i set out the system they have to show their id with everything censored but their date of birth so we know that they're adults they weren't allowed in until they turned age 18, if they're 17, almost 18. And, you know, for the first few months, everything was going well. But then one incident happened where someone sent um, cub stuff, where they sent inappropriate of, like, you know, characters, cartoon characters that were minors with adults. For example, like the Lion King you're talking about from the context? Oh, the Lion King was actually a different situation that oh. Rocky reposted on his not safe for Twitter. Oh yeah, one I did not know about. Why we went on his Wikipedia? Yeah. Why we went on his Wikipedia page? I saw a uh, yes. allegation where he uh, se sexualized the adult from using Squid Game. Yes, there is actually a recording saved for that mm. on Twitter where somebody else just like places their OC within that. That is 100% true. I've been working for Rocky for two years and I remember when he did that. I was 17 at the time. I used to run his old Discord server. So I've known Rocky for a very, I've known him for a while at this point. Yeah. You, I can get, I can find that thing for you if you. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to see a, a sexualized video of the Squid Game doll. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that makes complete and utter sense. I just, yeah. Since I actually I have a younger sure sister around the same age as a doll. I actually have a younger sister the same age of a doll, which is the reason I don't want to see it. And the fact I don't like children. Oh God. Yeah, that makes complete and utter sense, man. And my next question is, how did Rocky act with server members? Well, let's see. He had a very parasocial relationship, like, they would always like hype him up and Rocky he would talk about personal stuff to them about you know personal life about his mother and everything and how she gambles he would also he would also talk shit about his new workers he hires people and teaches them animation but then he would get mad when you know they don't learn quick enough or or if the person according to Rocky thinks that they know what they're doing and they're you know and apparently they're incompetent but he still won't fire them he just wants to shit talk about them to all of his server members by the way his workers are in a completely different server to the server that we are in all right i i've done animation myself it is actually really hard and uh, i do not want to be uh bossed around while doing animation yeah it's the fact that he just like talks shit about his workers behind their backs. His workers probably, I don't know, some of them probably don't even speak English. He's 
pretty sure he's yeah he's Vietnamese and I think he's from the Philippines. His oh yeah, according to his um, Wikipedia page, Chinese. he is from Vietnam. Yeah, I just know that his time zone is like is a two three hour difference from mine, and I'm Australian. So I'm pretty sure it'd be like around. Like 8 p.m. for him or so, 8 to a.m. I mean in the morning, I mean, or like 3 p.m. So it's uh, 16 hours ahead. That has to be um, 8 a.m. and east. 8 a.m. for me. I don't fully remember, but I know that you know his time zone is too different from mine. All right. And now for the next question, what was your turning point on Rocky? Well, after he defended. Um, the the cup stuff twice the freaking first time i just told him right from wrong and the second time he did not learn his lesson he only wanted the people to to um only have a mute instead of being banned and that is when i was done with him and uh how did he act when uh, you turned on him uh not very well he got mad at me in DMs, I blocked him, and he started texting on his not safe to work account. Oh. Yeah. And uh, what do you think of Rocky's content now? Um, he's not really changing, he's still doing sexual implications with his content. On a site that's mostly children, uh, you shouldn't uh, post uh, cheese pizza on it. Uh, as well, like, he's he's just advertising his not safe for work account on his YouTube still, and it showed his last not safe for work account username. He's recently changed it, but it, 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 like, people could see, you know, his not safe for work account where he did post the cub stuff, where he reposts it. Now for the last question. What do you have to say? To, what do you have to say to the audience that uh, probably didn't know anything about Rocky Raccoon before this video? I just say don't interact with them. If you're an adult, I would recommend finding the resources on him. I posted a bunch of the evidence on X. Let's just spread the word so we can have more people unfollow him to get to get minors away from him and just spread awareness in general. And uh, maybe even get banned, but I know that's, that probably won't even happen. And uh, yeah, sadly. And it was nice uh, talking with you. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having this interview with me. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Okay, so after editing and finishing this video, the person I interviewed wanted me to put these messages, messages at the end of the video, so I'll put them here. They are pretty bad. I'll just make a story out of it. So after the person I interviewed exposed Rack Rocky, Rocky basically got mad. Here are the messages. If you don't know what Yashin is, that's basically uh, Rocky's, uh, you know, uh, NSFW Twitter account.